Welcome back. This section of the show is called Ask FPA. You can send your medical questions to TV at FPALex.com and include your name if you would like for us to use it on the air. Tonight's question is, if I have heart issues, when should I see a cardiologist asked by Bill Wilson of Lexington, Kentucky? And here to help me answer that question and to talk about some palpitations is my partner at Family Practice Associates, Dr. Diana Aislip. Hi. Thanks for coming in. All right, I mentioned when we started the program, you know, does your heart skip a beat or does it flutter? Is that something you need to see the doctor about or, or uh, palpitations? What is it? Well, a palpitation is an uncomfortable sensation that you feel in your heart. And it can be a flutter or it can be a rapid heart rate or a feeling like you're pounding in the heart. And that is a reason to go see your uh, doctor or family practice provider. So when you hear the flutter, it's not, it, it might be normal. Uh, I mean, palpitations can be fairly common, and sometimes they can be caused by stress or anxiety, and all our hearts do skip beats sometimes, so they can be normal. Now, there's, there's, when you say normal, normal sinus rhythm is, is a normal, a normal right. EKG. Uh, the, the beats are regular, everything is, is normal. Right. This is an example right here. That's a normal EKG. That's a normal EKG. You can see that the rhythms are all nice and regular and uh, they're just really nice and even, so that'd be okay. normal. So when you have a palpitation, one of the things is called a, a, a PVC, right. an irregular beat. Looks right. a little different. Right, so in this example, you can see that the beats that are different are these bigger beats right there. And so if you're looking along the eyes, you have two normal on the bottom row, two normal and irregular, normal and irregular. So we call those PVCs or pre premature ventricular contractions. And you can, you can sometimes feel those. You really can feel those. Typically what you feel is you don't necessarily feel this beat, but the next beat, your heart has more time to fill up with blood. And then when you do the next one, it's a harder type beat. And you feel kind of a flutter sensation in, the, in your chest when you're experiencing a PVC. Is that bad? No, PVCs in themselves are not bad and won't increase your risk of heart attack or anything like that. But there are some warning signs uh, 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 about potentially bad arrhythmias? Correct. I mean, some of the warning signs are chest pain, and certainly if you're having uh, irregular sensation and getting chest pain, if you're getting dizziness with them, where you're getting, you have that sensation and you're feeling lightheaded, and definitely if you ever completely pass out, you know, you feel an uncomfortable sensation and you pass out, those are serious warning signs. Okay, now one of the things we hear a lot about on TV, especially because some of the new medicines and blood thinners we've coming out, is atrial fibrillation. Right. Tell me about that rhythm. Well, atrial fibrillation is definitely an irregular rhythm. It's a little bit hard to tell if you look at the bottom strip, but you can tell that some of the, the beats aren't kind of a regular interval. And the other thing is you can see that there's like a bunch of like little squigglies. Those are the atria fibrillating. So that's an irregular rhythm. And that is something that you need to see the doctor and get treated because without getting it treated, you have an increased risk of having a stroke. So that rhythm can cause the heart to kind of right. shake. Fibrillate, yeah, yeah, which is the name of the fibrillation. And that's kind of like what you're seeing with these wavy little lines in between the beats. All right. Now, what are some causes of palpitations? Obviously, heart disease is one, but it doesn't always have to be heart disease. No, it doesn't. I had mentioned a little bit stress and anxiety can cause problems with palpitations. Uh, so some medications, uh, some of the stimulant type medications, even things like Sudafed sometimes can cause people to have palpitations. Um, caffeine can cause palpitations as well. And so if you're feeling palpitations, there are some things you can do to try to figure out if they're bad or good. Right. Give me some ideas. Well, uh, certainly if you get those warning signs, those are definitely something that you need to get checked out. Um, and I think just if the palpitations persist. I mean, if you feel a little flutter and it goes away and you feel fine the rest of the day, that's not necessarily something that you have to come and see the doctor for. But if you're getting that experience a lot, then that is something I would come and see the doctor for. So when you see the doctor, what are they going to do? There's, there's things yeah. called the uh, blood tests to look for certain diseases, monitors? Exactly, yeah. So one of the first thing you'll do when you come is we'll obviously get a history uh, on you. That is really important to trying to figure out what's causing it. You know, what were you doing when it came on? Is there anything going on in your life? What medications are you taking? Um, then we'll also usually do an EKG, and obviously that's an example of an EKG, right. and that can tell us a lot about the heart. 
But if you're only getting the palpitations, let's say you're only getting them maybe uh, once an hour or three times a day, well then we do a test called a Holter monitor. And then we actually, it's like we hook up like an EKG machine, but it's really not a big machine. And uh, it's like a little box with some electrodes and you wear that for a full 24 hours. And then if you're having a problem, hopefully we can pick it up on that monitor. And if it's important, get it treated and see the cardiologist. Exactly. Great information. Thanks for coming in. And if you're having a palpitations, see your doctor.